All right, your big block Chevy. The final head torque on the head bolts is going to be 80 pounds. And uh, they recommend tightening these in three steps. I've already done the first step, which was hand tightening to about 40 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and torque them with a torque wrench again to 60 pounds, working from the center out. Then we're going to go back again, 80 pounds on the final torque all the way around, starting in the center. So we're going to go ahead turn on these center bolts and we're going to work our way out. And I recommend using a thin wall socket. Some of these down here are going to be hard to get at with a fixed impact socket. So we're going to go ahead and You may notice that I'll go over and double check a lot of these bolts, but there's no big deal. I just really hate to miss one. Alright, now we've got all the bolts torqued down to 60 pounds. We're going to move this torque setting up to 80, which will be our final torque. Starting in the center once again. That ought to do it. Now we're going to go ahead and double check and just to be safe, I always just, when I double check them, I just start at one end and work my way down. That way there's no confusion on which one you already tried. We'll check all of these upper cylinder head bolts first. Go right down the line. So we're going to check the next row. And then finally the bottom row. Alright, and that's it. Got our cylinder head fully torqued and double checked. It's done right. I'm going to go ahead and turn this engine around. We'll go ahead and tighten the head on the other side. Then we're going to put the push rods, rocker arm studs, and the rocker arms on and adjust all the valves. Uh, this is a hydraulic lifter system. Uh, there will be no valve lash. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that stuff next.